Today we are visiting the dog-friendly historic brewing bottle and barrel house right in the heart of historic Williams, Arizona. It's located off of 2nd Street and I'm excited to try out a delicious beer and tasty meal. I'm taking Winston to a dog-friendly brewery today in Williams and um one thing that I really like about Williams and small touristy towns is generally they are very dog friendly. So I'm really excited about it because it's something different. And I love to take Winston to dog friendly places, especially restaurants, because he does so well. He just sits and hangs out and chills. So I'm getting ready right now. I just uh, cleaned up my van and stuff and I just brushed my teeth and washed my face. Uh, with water. The brewery opens at uh, at noon. So I think we're going to head out at noon. It'll take us just like 15 minutes to get there and there's some street parking. So that will be fun. And you know, the few times that I've traveled the country with Winston, one of my favorite things to do with him was to go to dog friendly breweries or restaurants if they're was not a brewery around and um, try a locally crafted beer. So this is kind of reminiscent of that. And next year when we do a little bit more traveling, like going to Oregon and Washington, I'm excited to kind of do that again with him. So right now I'm just putting a face serum on, I forgot to get my neck, for moisture because I've been having, oh something in my eye, I've been having problems with um, my face being super dry. And since we're going to be outside today, instead of just doing like a, um, well I guess we're outside like every day. But since we're going to be sitting on the patio, I know there will be umbrellas and stuff, but I'm actually going to put on some, put my sunscreen on. Because I noticed in yesterday's video, my nose was pretty red. And uh, I still get the ladies at the store IDing me for alcohol, even though I'm 35, and telling me how good I look. <laughs> so I don't want to lose that. I can't believe I'm 35 now, too. That's bizarre. So, yeah, stay tuned here for uh, some footage of Winston and I at the brewery. I'm excited about it. They have a tasty menu. And then I need to change my clothes too. We're all set to head into town today and Maddie's going to join us at the brewery. So Winston's birthday is on Monday so this is going to be kind of like a pre-birthday celebration for Winston. I'm going to see if maybe they can give him like a hamburger patty or a chicken tender or something like that. But um, I took out like his booster seat. He'll be sitting in the back of the van because I'm going to drive us that way Maddie's van and our setup can stay here. He will put away his solar, but what we did was we put a chair out and our cones because it is Friday. And although there hasn't been a ton of traffic, we just wanna make sure that uh, people understand that we're camping here. And if you pull up, you're gonna be way too close to us, especially since my van's right here and Maddie's van is behind us. Um, but like I said, we're gonna leave everything set up. I did put away my solar, I have my water out sitting in the sun so I can shower later. And it is going to be in the high 70s today with a breeze, perfect day to sit outside and have a beer and a snack on the patio. 
We just arrived in historic Williams. It was only a 15 minute drive. And what makes Williams a really cool small tourist town is that you can actually pick up the Grand Canyon Railway from the train station here and take the two and a half hour passenger train up to the canyon. What I love about this area is there is so much history and I'm a huge fan of trains. So there are some really cool museums. And as you can see, there was this box car that we were able to go into and that was really neat. The restaurants and the inns, everything they have in this little town is just so cool. And it brings so many people into the area. I love seeing historic places like this absolutely thrive. And most of the stores are even dog friendly. And I appreciate that. They also have a lot of doggy bag waste stations, which is helpful. We were able to park right across the street from the brewery and that was very nice and convenient. They have street parking and parking lots. And at this restaurant, you can just take your dog right inside and then go outside to the patio and find a seat. What do you want for lunch, bub? How about the chicken strips and fries? You want some chicken for lunch? For your birthday? For your pre-birthday boy? The beer and food was so delicious. I had the bruschetta and Winston and I shared the kids chicken tenders. We're back at camp after our lunch in town. It was lovely. Just the perfect temperature for sitting outside in the shade as I hoped it would be. It's become a little bit overcast or not really overcast, but a lot more clouds right now which is nice. I'm getting my shower stuff ready but I won't shower until a little bit later. Just have my items sitting out on my little table there. Lots of people have left today but it does seem like there are quite a few people coming into the lake campground. I have a few more things to do in the van. Oh, I need to fix my pillow. And, you know, just all those little minor things to get settled back in. Well, this is weird and unexpected. Started getting like misty and uh, there were some raindrops all of a sudden. It like cooled down. I was about to take my shower, but it literally just got chilly and windy. So I put my stuff under my trunk here. I was listening to a true crime podcast. Uh, covered up my solar connectors and got my other door closed here. I had gotten my clothes all set and my shower things situated. But... Gosh, now, now it might be a little too uh, chilly to shower at the moment. If y'all watch my videos consistently, you might have seen one recently where I talk about my impeccable timing. Well, I got out of the shower, got in my van, and it started like a steady downpour. So Winston got out of his playpen and was like, mom, get me in the van. <laughs> so we got in the van. I just um, did like all my lotion and my face stuff and everything and um, got dressed and we're just waiting for the rain to pass. It's, it's kind of wild. I mean, I definitely don't mind it, but I wasn't expecting it. So I kind of got caught with all my stuff outside, but it is what it is. Winston is uh, relaxing after his busy day of eating chicken tenders and perusing the town. So we're just going to take it all in. I feel so good after my shower. It stopped raining. It was a very steady downfall for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so. 
Um, my solar panel got washed, so that's good news, but I was able to get out of the van and put my towels up and get stuff cleaned up for the evening. That's Maddie's e-bike, by the way. Um, so I think tomorrow I'm just gonna stick around camp, probably Sunday go into town. Monday I will head back down to the valley because Wednesday I go up to Payson. My mom's already working on the remodel of her house, but I will join her to do that for five days. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and join us at the brewery in Williams, Arizona. Like and subscribe and we will see you next time.